Now I have to count and rehouse my Sardinian glowworms. Welcome to Peppers mm. Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> so this is my entire colony of Sardinian glowworms, the older larvae and two batches of younger larvae, all of them generation 25. They are currently kept in a very simple bioactive setup with some soil and sponge cloths. I also had some leaves in there, but I have already removed them. You know, leaf litter from sea almond, <laughs> a bit uh, decadent. And I also still have some eggs of generation 25, a little bit of aeration but a bit more moist and they are still intact, at least more intact than the swatch cloth at parts. You can see it's uh, really biodegradable and um, yeah, some of those black dots are actually larvae that hatched and died immediately, a phenomenon that I have observed with the Lamproiza splendidula, a local species also, so it's a bit weird. Uh, you can see the sponge cloth is uh, quite biodegraded. I don't think that I can expect much new larvae from those eggs. And that's the enclosure where I want to put them in. It's even more simple, not bioactive. Again, some air holes and something to prevent unwanted visitors from entering. But it's just basically moist sponge cloth, which also works quite well. Let's get counting. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. 38, and I found something, ah, a male pupa. And also another one, two of them. So it's 38 and two pupae. But ah, I also, there's another lava that I didn't spot so far in the old big enclosure of the older lobby, there it is. And you can clearly see it is also carrying some uh, phoretic mites, which seem to be a problem of the more bioactive uh, approach. Ah, so 39 and those two pupae. I guess they are the result of um, the older lobby that hatched even before Easter this year. A vanguard, so to speak. Now off to the next enclosure, you can see some of the larvae have all also grown quite a bit. And the springtails, the nice silvery variety that I prefer, are booming yeah, on the sea almond leaf. So 49 and 2 pupae, 59 and 2 pupae. And in the last enclosure, you can see sponge cloths have also quite biodegraded and a lot of springtails, but Unfortunately, the uh, longer, more fossorial uh, variety that I do not really uh, approve. 70, 80, and to pupae. 81, and there we are. They have been rehoused, and I have given them some crushed giant African land snails, some uh, young and not so giant ones. Yeah, uh, generation 25. Next year would be. And the anniversary of uh, starting the colony, the uh, 20th anniversary, uh, I hope the colony will last that long. This, uh, uh, some trouble uh, with the colony, it's not as much larvae as I expected from the large amount of adults of the previous generation, and this one is dead, unfortunately, I think. The other ones might be okay. 
And yeah, the mites, um, as I have observed, do not seem to be any problem. They just like to be carried around, like on this lava here. And the lava finds some food, and that's normally where the mites stay then and feast on the remnants of the meal of the glowworms. So they don't seem to harm the glowworms. And some of them hmm, look quite thin. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But um, I think there's hope for the colony. Wish me luck and the little glowworms that they colony will continue.